Hi, I'm Tiberius from the Tiberius Show, and I am here at Main Street Eatery, Brooksville, Florida, at the Blueberry Festival. So what is your name? My name is Peggy Bell. It's very nice to meet you. So but what do you do? Well, I have this little restaurant called Main Street Eatery, and we have been here for almost 30 years. Next month, we will be here 30 years. We have delicious homemade Cuban sandwiches, a blueberry pulled pork sandwich, a delicious blueberry cobbler that we serve with ice cream and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. that, that made me like put my head over <laughs> that, that blew your hat right <laughs> off your head, didn't it? <laughs> It sounded so delicious. Uh -huh. So what is the best part about owning a restaurant? That is a very good question. I think working with people. Being out in the public and uh -huh. talking to people. I like it. I like it a lot. So what is, the, so what is that one thing what that is, you like about this restaurant? What is that one thing that I like about this restaurant? I like that we are in the city of Brooksville and all of the people in this community come together to help each other out. And so when the going gets tough, people come and, and they'll eat here because they want to support a local restaurant. So what is your favorite dish to eat? I would have to say the Cuban sandwich. Yep, our Cuban bread comes from Las Segundas in Ybor City, and it is delicious, and we press those Cuban sandwich to perfection, and so just crispy on the outside, it's delicious. Wow. So, well, what is the best part about the Blueberry Festival? The best part about the Blueberry Festival right now is that it is all local uh, Brooksville people that are vendors here and um, the whole community has come out. We have hundreds of volunteers that have come together to put this festival together and it just makes it very exciting. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much. It was very nice to meet you, Tiberius. You're also <laughs> so what is your name? I'm Joe Heron. So what do you do? I'm the director of bands at Hernando High School here in Brooksville. Okay. So what is the best part about doing this? Well, one, we were always trying to help raise funds for our band program and to help the kids afford to go on trips and uh, get instruments who can't afford it. What is the best part about the Blueberry Festival? Well, in Brooksville, we're all about community, and this is one thing that draws out everybody in our, our local community to come out and support all the local vendors, the band programs, our agriculture department. Well, we have about 60 members, um, about si seven, seven guard members. What, kind, what type of music do you play? Well, we do a wide range of things. We have concert band and marching band and solos and small groups. A wide variety. Okay. What is your favorite marching band song? Well, I might have to say music from the uh, Swan Lake. That was our marching show this year. Okay. Go Leopards! So what are you guys selling? We're selling blueberry shortcake. Blueberry, fresh blueberry shortcake. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> I'm going to go eat some shortcake. <laughs> and thank you for being on the show. Thank you. You have a good day. So what are your guys' names? I'm James. I'm Jeremy Baker. So what do you guys do? Well, my brother-in-law here is a barber, a local barber, new to town, and we're here at the Blueberry Festival to try to drum up a little business. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm the barber. I have a nice barber shop, real old-fashioned, old-school barber shop, just like you stepped back in time to 1950, just like your grandpa used to go to. Really? Where did you move from? Where did you move from? Well, I moved here two years ago from central New York State, just south of Syracuse, in a little town called Homer, New York. But this is my new home. Wow. What is the best part about this? The best part about this is the beautiful weather, the wonderful people. Everybody's been so welcoming. It's a great community. It's the small town mindset that I'm used to from my little town in New York. And we have a lot of fun here and a lot of good guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm a barber, so I make all kinds of good conversation with guys all day long. So we make new friends every day. Did you always want to do this? Well, my dad was a barber. He barbered for 45 years, and I thought I was never going to be a barber. 
And then eight years ago, I decided I didn't have a job, so I needed to find a new job, and I decided to be a barber. Wow. So I said, if my dad could do it, I can do it. Well, that is cool. What's the best part about the Blueberry Festival? The best part about the Blueberry Festival is the food. There is so much good food that you're just going to get obese if you eat everything. So you just have to pick one thing. So we'll see. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for interviewing me. It's nice to you meet are, you, Tiberius. You are welcome. So what is your name? Nasha Lee. So what do you do? I help ferment kombucha on my family farm, and I also make bread. Okay, so what is the best part about doing it? Um, best part about doing it is feeling like you're giving something healthy to the community. Um, one thing with our bread is it's sourdough based, and a lot of breads that you find at the market is not doesn't have any sourdough. And um, so that's basically what we do with our bread, and it's freshly ground as well. Um, at the moment, we're only using wheat, but soon we'll be incorporating rye grain as well. Okay. With the kombucha, it's amazing to make the kombucha because you get to see um, and taste a lot of different um, vinegar acids that it produces when it's from, when it's uh, fermenting. And right now, this right here is has been fermented for seven days. Um, after we ferment the kombucha, we bring it to the market, we sell it on the farm, and you can even use it for cooking if you want to. What? What is kombucha? It's a fermented tea, it tastes like cider, and you can use a lot of different teas. We use black tea, white tea, green tea, and we, we blend them all together as well. In the front you have um, a blend of black, white, and green tea. Can kids taste it? Kids can taste it, um, although some of them is alcoholic, can be alcoholic. So you always have to kind of look at the labels and see. Most of them will not be, but some of them can be. So which ones are alcoholic and which ones are not? Well, <laughs> none of these that we provide today are alcoholic. So if you wanted to taste any of them, you could. So what is your name? My name is Susan Tobin. So well, what's the best part about the blueberry festival? Eating a blueberry pie. <laughs> wow, I haven't tried the blueberry pie yet. So. Yes, there's blueberry jelly, Ooh. there's all kinds of stuff, but I love blueberries. So what have you tried here? I'm going to be going for the shrimp and grits next. Ooh, yeah. Shrimp and grits. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Come here every year. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your name? My name is Phyllis. So uh, what do you do? Well, I am a damsel in defense, independent rep. We have products that we like to show women what to carry to keep themselves safe in this day and age. Okay. So, uh, what is the best part? What is the best part? Uh, let me think here for a minute because I want to be just as honest as I can be. I think the best part is when a woman says, Thank you. I really need something like this. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel safe. Well, what's your favorite product? Well, let me think. We got so many good products here. I think my favorite product is our Get a Grip Stun Gun. Okay. Our Get a Grip Stun Gun. It can be charged up in your car or in your wall. It's got a cute little battery indicator lights here that tells you when it's time to charge it up. Uh -huh. All our stun guns are pin activated. That is a safety issue with damsel in defense. On our stun guns, we all have high-powered flashlights, which is the first form of defense if you shine it in their eyes. Then if we go up one more and that light comes on, our stun guns are now activated. And you can tell somebody, don't come any closer. I have my stun gun and I will use it. If they do take another step forward, you go, I don't want you to come any closer, okay? That is my favorite product because they're going to go and find somebody else and leave you alone. But we don't want them to find somebody else, do we? So we need to let everybody know about this, right? Right. Thank you for being on the show. You're very welcome and thank you for asking such important questions and I enjoyed the interview. What is your name? Hi, I'm Lisa Phillips. I'm, by trade, I'm a taxidermist, but I've taken it to a new level to where I do all these arts and crafts that you see here with um, things that were left over from my customers, like 
antlers and tons of feathers and deer mounts of all kinds. I have a badger over there. So I now I create, I create. So what is taxidermy? Taxidermy is taking an animal that has been harvested from the field, is what we call it, the political way. And after a hunter has harvested a deer, perhaps, then they bring it to me and I skin it out and then I, I wrap it, I form it around a form called polyurethane and I mount the antlers and I place them and set them and I put the eyes in and I sew him up and then he's, then you have a product like that which is called a shoulder mount. Cool. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. I think it is too. I thought what it was going to be is like cut it and then like save the other stuff and then like put it right here but like well it might like sink out the blood like yeah. sink out and then we can hang it up. Yeah, no, you actually have very little contact with blood or the organs. You really, when you skin a deer out, all you see is the meat that we ingest, that we get to enjoy. Like the back strap and the quarter hinds and even the shoulder you can, you can cook into roast. And it's really delicious. So what is the best part about doing this? I love to bring animals back to life. I love to make them look as they did when they were in the field or in the forest. I like to bring them to a level that people can respect that not just killing a deer, but taking it and using it for other vital reasons in our lives, like the meat, because they feed us, they clothe us. So, thank you for being on the show. I thank you. I am just flattered. It's all good out that you invited me. You are welcome.